It may be the divine play of God. It's play for God. It's death for us. Then Sri Ramakrishna gives the real reply. Now I'm coming to the real reply which I would like to give. When he says it's death to us, Sri Ramakrishna said just one little thing after which there was no, no further question possible. Sri Ramakrishna said, death to us you say, but who are you? Do you know who you are? Meaning thereby, if you did investigate who you are, that's what Vedanta does. What would you find? You are one with God. The same God who manifests this universe is you yourself. What we sang, Satyam, Jnana, Manantam, Brahma, you are that. From that point of view, no evil touches you or anybody else. Think about it. Advaita says, Brahma, Satyam, Jagat, Mithya, Jiva, Brahma, Ivanapara. Brahman, that Satyam, Jnana, Manantam, Brahma, infinite existence, consciousness, is the only reality. The world of appearance and suffering is an appearance, it's false. Then what about me? Am I real or false? You are one with Brahman. You are real. You are real as Brahman. I'll ask you a question. The greatest of tragedies, the worst of things, worst of suffering, it's permissible in only one case. It's even enjoyable in one place, one case. When? Think about it. When is the only time you would not be upset with suffering? When you would even say it's good, it's great. In a film, in art, in a story, in fiction, if it actually did not happen, in a dream, when you wake up from that and you say, oh, thank God it was a nightmare. If it actually did not happen, then you would not be outraged, isn't it? You might even enjoy it. You might even enjoy it. But only from a point of, from a place of security, from a place of safety, where you are not being touched by that suffering. So the real answer is here. No clever theory will ever satisfy your question. You know, the question which you have, why is there suffering? I may give you the cleverest of theories. The professor, good professor gives a law of karma, which is great. Even beyond the law of karma is the explanation given by Vedanta, Maya. That's an even better explanation, I think. Even that will not satisfy you. You know what will satisfy you? This answer to this question will be, you will get a satisfa satisfaction only when you transcend suffering. And the only way you will transcend suffering is by self-realization. By realizing that you are one with God. Moksha, Nirvana, whatever you call it. The Upanishad says, Tarati Shokam Atma Vit. The knower of the self, of Atman, transcends sorrow. That's the only way you're going to transcend sorrow.